My name is Brendan Werhon, and I'm an environmental scientist with Fowler Davison Associates. And for this, this project is the Oyster Map Pilot Project. And so this project was funded by the Tampa Bay Estuary Program through the Bay Mini Grants. And we created a partnership with Fowler Davison Associates, Salt Strong Alliance, and the Florida Department of Transportation. And so what we're doing is that we're creating oyster mats, which are artificial uh, concrete cement structures that are able to provide an ample substrate for natural oyster growth. And so the project location where these are going, they're gonna go in Old Tampa Bay on the north side of Courtney Campbell Causeway. Uh, Old Tampa Bay has seen, especially in recent years, poor water quality and oyster loss. And so there's d a demand for uh, substrate in that area. There is natural oyster growth, but there's poor substrate uh, for oyster growth. And so a lot of Old Tampa Bay is sandy bottom. And what we're doing is providing a hard substrate for oysters to be able to naturally recruit on. And to, to have that natural oyster recruitment will not only enhance the oyster shoreline, but also in improve water quality and habitat around the area. Okay, so um, good job we got. So we got all our molds situated. So the next thing we're gonna do is we'll get kind of organized and then we're gonna now use the pipe molds at, to make a few more. And so that process will be pretty similar. The only difference with that one, instead of picking up and moving it, we'll, have, we'll need a couple more people because we'll pick them up and then slide the pipes under and manipulate. And so all this is doing is just giving us another shape and so what's kind of nice about uh, using this material is that we're able to have A, some flex, and B, um, some experiments going with it to use different uh, pipe, which creates different shape. And so larger uh, mats will allow larger organisms to get in, and then A, act as a wave break, and then B, just give us different elevations in our water column. And so we have some lower profile, smaller elevation ones for closer to the shoreline, and then we'll have some uh, larger eleva elevations that can be in a little bit deeper water uh, on our shoreline. So thank you everybody for coming because uh, the work that we're doing here, uh, just put it in perspective, one single oyster that is able to uh, grow on these reefs can filter up to 50 gallons of water per day and so times that about, times that uh, by the amount of oysters that are able to recruit on these. And so by putting these out, we're uh, able to make a pretty big impact on not only habitat uh, restoration, but also water quality. Uh, and so event in a, in a few weeks, we'll be able to put these in the water and that's where they'll, they'll stay to create oyster shoreline.